Ultimately, what we need to be doing at this stage in the game with our five-month-old puppy is working on building better behaviors, building better behaviors. I said that right. I don't know why it sounded weird in my head. All right, everybody, we are back for another video with Shock. Shock is five months old and she has just crested into that zone of a, a little bit more rambunctiousness to begin with. She was super cooperative, super willing to work and please all the time. And now we're seeing this, I want more kind of attitude. And I know that a lot of folks that are developing young puppies are seeing the same thing somewhere in that four to six month range, depending on your dog's personality. This is her kind of saying, I want something. I want to do something. I'm ready to work. I want to do things. Now, we just took a short trip. Hey, now. I was up to uh, Game Fair. If you saw me there, huzzah. If you didn't, you missed out. Um, but on that little bit, she's kind of had a few days off, and now she's really ready to work. She's showing you that. Now, it's got brought up as well as I got a phone call yesterday. It was from a patron. If you don't know, we have a Patreon page. Um, the link's in the bio or on our website or on our online store. You can find it anywhere. Join us on Patreon if you want additional help with your training and your dog. We're there to answer questions or watch your training videos or even join you live so that we can help on the fly with anything that you've got going on. Now, gentleman called and said exactly what I just explained to you. Hey, we were doing really well and I thought she knew everything and now my puppy has moved into this more adventurous kind of turd and I don't know what to do. Well, he has a few young children just like we do and Aiden says that Puppy Shock is his favorite dog in the whole world because they love to run around and play chase and everything else. Um, that gets her really worked up, it gets him really worked up and then nobody is careful enough and Ultimately, what we need to be doing at this stage in the game with our five-month-old puppy is working on building better behaviors, building better behaviors. I said that right. I don't know why it sounded weird in my head. Um, and then conditioning those to be the response. Things like laying on a dog bed, that's a really good behavior to, for her to know and be ingrained and start to develop at this stage. We've already clicker trained that. We're gonna show you by warming that up at the beginning of the session, and then we're going to move into the collar conditioning part. Now I have DT's Wrap 1400. This is the rapid access where you can actually mount it on your hand for essentially hands-free. Um, you've got this button up here. We're going to be using this one today. I'll primarily be using Vibrate, and um, we're gonna get her set up for this right off the bat, and then we're gonna move into Warming her up, like I said, using some positive reinforcement. Come here, babe. So when we fit our e-collars, make sure that they're up in the smallest part of the dog's neck. And they need to be snug. I get two or three fingers in there, cinch it down as tight as I can go, and then back it off one hole. You should feel, it should feel snug, but not the dog going, ah, 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 too tight, daddy. About like, if for guys out there, about like you would wear an actual tie if you were dressing up for something. So that's gonna sit here, good. All right, we don't need this yet. I'm going to put this in, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Put it, I'm gonna put it on my hand. So I essentially have hands-free training, okay? Now, we talked about warming her up. I'm only got a handful of treats here, so I don't have the full treat pouch because we're primarily going to be doing a warm up, right? She's prepared, she understands, and we can say shock kennel. Where does she go? Back to that dog bed. Okay, I'm gonna make a mild adjustment. I want my bed up against the wall. Now, the reason that I want it there is so that we have one less location for her to kind of escape from, but sometimes, or escape from, but avoid the bed, ultimately. I want to set this up to be as easy as possible for her and we may have to make adjustments depending on how she does. Good. Kennel. Now, as you're watching this, I'm gonna try and build a little distance here. No duration, as soon as she hears that click, she's free to go. Kennel. Good. Nice job. 
see how far we can get. Kennel. Little help. Good. Nice job. We'll come over here, just a little different direction. Kennel. All right, I think it's pretty obvious to everybody watching here as it is to me, she's got a good understanding of what kennel means, which means that we are ready for collar conditioning. Now, this is not her first collar conditioning session. We actually collar conditioned to recall first. Go back, watch that video. I think we can throw a little tag thingy up here or over here or something. Um, that video is going to show how we began her collar conditioning. Now, if this is the first thing you're collar conditioning with your dog, the utilization of a check cord or some form of tether isn't a bad idea. And if we need it, I have one on standby for her. But how we're going to be doing this is using negative reinforcement. We talk about the four quadrants of operant conditioning. And so timing is important. And this is something people get confused. So pay attention here. We're going to turn on vibrate. Vibrate is on, then it's not on this second. We'll turn on vibrate. We will ask, just like we were doing there, kennel, and then as soon as she complies, gets on the dog bed, vibrate shuts off. Even if that means we have to help her a little bit, that's fine. We're helping her to understand how to shut vibrate off by doing something that she already knows. We're not using the collar to teach. Key thing there, okay? Just reinforce behaviors that we want to see more often. All right, so here's the first rep. I'm going to do my best to hand up here so you can see on and off with the collar. All right, good. Clicker goes away. That's another common question. Do I need to be clicking with the e-collar? No, you do not. But if your dog is willing to eat food rewards still or some sort of treat, um, she's already eaten breakfast this morning, so I'm actually using the training bites um, or training treats instead of dog food, which would be what we normally use. So. Kennel, look at her, she's a little like, what am, what's going on? Kennel, good. Shuts off as soon as she's on that bed. Throw her another treat, good job, that's what we wanna see. And we're gonna do another rep. Kennel, good girl, nice job. Again, as soon as the collar shuts off, the whole thing is done, the fact that she was on and then hopped off, not a big deal, okay? Kennel. Good, allowing her to think a little bit, right? You guys saw that. You can see the second I raise my hand, she kind of like, whoa, what is that? The vibrate, she's feeling it, she knows it's there, and then shuts off the second she gets over to the dog bed. Shot, kennel, good. Making sure she's paying attention. Nice job, baby girl. Okay, collar's on again. Shock. Kennel, good. I held my ask of the cue a second longer because there was a bit of distraction over here and if it becomes a bigger distraction, we'll eliminate it. So, kennel, good, nice job. Just shorten that distance up, making sure she's ready and closer and we'll work to more distance down the road here. Okay, come on. No. Kennel, good girl. Okay, now she's making this look fairly easy, fairly straightforward, and it should be if you have the proper groundwork laid out. Follow along with her videos, watch all of the steps or the other playlists. You can go to Standing Stone Kennels on YouTube here, click on our playlist section, and you can see that we have, I think, seven series now that we show step-by-step, step, eight weeks to 12, year, 12 months old, excuse me, um, all of the things that we do with different puppies, and a lot of times people ask, hey, the, the order isn't exactly the same. No, the order fits that dog's personality and what they needed to learn at that time. That's what I recommend you do. Find the dog that fits what you're looking for or what your dog acts like. Try and match things up that way. Hey, 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 we're gonna do another one. Kennel. Good. Now you saw there, okay? Vibrate was on that whole time. Vibrate is enough to pull her attention, kind of, until there was a bigger distraction. So there's going to be, there's going to be more later, but she saw a fly and she went, oh, I'm gonna go get that, and then was able to come back here and shut the collar off. The collar stayed on the entire time until she was to the dog bed. Okay, come here, baby. 
Kennel? Good. I want to point out a couple things that are happening here, and I'm still allowing them to happen, but if you see struggles like this, be aware in your sessions, um, but if you see struggles like this, make some changes. If she is not looking in the direction of the bed, when that collar turns on, she goes to do check something else, like what is this? But if I have her looking in this direction, she puts that together really quickly. So this next drop, I'm gonna try and set that up where she's actually more looking toward the direction of the bed, okay? Okay, good girl. We'll come back this way. Kennel, you see how much more direct that was? That's a little step that we can do in this early stage here to help her to be successful. And the more that we can help her to be successful, the faster she's gonna to start to show the results that we're looking for and have the understanding that we want. Good girl, okay. Kennel, good. All right, I think I'm out of treats, so just a little love on the ears there. That's good for you, good. One more. Kennel, good, okay. On kennel, good dog. All right, you're seeing very direct now. She's pretty much off, collar turns on, she's making that loop headed back to the dog bed, which means she's got a really good understanding and this is a fantastic place to end our first session. She is not collar conditioned to a place board. She has a good start to that. We will do more sessions just like this and then we'll move into basically building duration, showing her that she needs to stay there and we'll do another video to show y'all how to do that when she's ready for it. I'm guessing one to two more sessions of this will be enough for her and then we'll move into the building duration and then eventually adding distraction which will complete the three D's of place training. We have another video on that folks. Standing Stone Kennels, three D's of place training I believe is what you could search to find it on YouTube. I'm the guy with the pink gun. Come here babe, you need me to say goodbye to everybody. This is your favorite dog of the year, Shock. Um, and if you didn't see, we have a 2001 hunting season giveaway sweepstakes set up here. You can come hunt with me and her. Reach out to us if you can't find that information. We will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.